Okay, uh, thank you all for, for being here. <coughs> so I want to talk about um, these inequalities that are point ways that something uh, remarkable as the operators will be non-local. But let me begin by um, telling you about the local case first. So in the local case, imagine you take the Laplacian of f square at a point x. Then you can actually compute this guy. Imagine that these are just two derivatives in x or something like that. And then this guy is going to be like twice f, the gradient of f at x, plus some other guy, which is twice the gradient of f squared. OK, well, that's pretty simple. Now I can drop this guy, which is positive always. And then I have this kind of point white inequality. OK. Now you may ask, uh, why should I care about this? So here you mentioned this uh, SQG equation. And for the SQG equation, which I'm not going to write because I don't want to, to waste a lot of time uh, <laughs> talking about the equation itself, this is going to be a talk about this, this tool, this inequality I'm going to tell you about. So in this SQ equation, there is a theorem saying that in the, for the critical dissipation, then uh, if you start with the data, initial data, which is infinity, then there is a solution. The solution is infinity for every time, which is something nice. Now, this critical dissipation in this case for this equation is a fractional one. It's uh, exactly uh, uh, one derivative. And here we have two derivatives. So, um, so well, uh, I will tell you what is the fractional version of this guy uh, uh, right now, which is known as uh, the cordova cordova type inequality. So before that, uh, I'd like to, to tell you what is the, the um, the definition of the fractional Laplacian, which can be given as a Fourier multiplier, but then you can actually prove using Fourier analysis. I mean, this is a classical thing. You can prove that the the, the fractional Laplacian acting on a function f, which I was supposed to be smooth enough at a point x, is going to be up to some constant that will depend on the dimension and alpha, which is the number of derivatives here. Um, yeah, let me. OK, let me here put a half. I mean, that's, anyways. So it's going to be given by uh, a principal value integral of this form. y over y plus alpha dy in the Euclidean space. OK? That's the definition. Or that can be taken as a definition, because you can prove that actually both things uh, Coincide. Now, how, what, what, what should be the uh, the inequality in this case? Well, we have to take into account design. Uh,